the two bikes that I have behind my art move and decided to get a nice motorcycle. And I'm also making a syncretic painting, mixing a portraiture with this landscape in front of me. I just picked up a package which a friend sent me. So now that we made it to a nice spot, I can open it. <laughs> this package came from a friend, Ray, from Instagram. He's into oil painting conservation and he knows about how to prepare paper that can last and is good for oil painting. What a beautiful package. Wanna see what this is? Oh wow, what a nice wrapping. What? This is a sketchbook by Steelman Amburn that has been customized to be painted with oils if I want to. It's already nice and dry. And then to protect all the pages, put a wax paper, some sort. Really nice. Let me see what else you sent because this is a surprise. I was waiting just for the sketchbook. Oh cool, it's a panel. Oh what? This looks like really good quality stuff. So thank you, Ray. I'll put Ray's information in the description below so you can have access and communicate with him. I worked on the portrait before together with a simple composition, but I waited for this specific time. I wanted to grab that light falling on those distant pine trees over there to design the dark masses to connect. And I connected this whole mass of trees with her forehead through her eyebrows but I want to have the light coming from this direction you see the sun is coming there and I'm thinking of her mind lighting up the forest in a way I'm scratching the trunks just quickly just to kind of draw them in and then I'll develop them I don't want to leave them scratchy like that but the back of the pencil will be more loyal to those shapes than if I'll do it with the tip of the brush at these rocks here in the foreground and I want to see if I can introduce those rocks to her shoulders to make her be built of, of kind of like the rock coming from the earth out and I'm gonna play with the perspective so I'm gonna recreate all, also the distant mountains back here and see if I can recreate that and just leave it kind of like a dreamy scene I am out here traveling in nature I am more grateful than ever to the technology and the science that we have developed so that we can use and have it to our favor so we can express ourselves better so we can connect better with nature science and all the little tools that we have all the little toys the motorcycle the van the clothing everything has been done by other entities and I'm using it for my artistic advantage but at the same time I think we have become too lost in the science and the information and we need to reconnect and that's what I'm feeling that my art is doing is reconnecting with that natural sense of expression from a human responding to the environment to nature and sometimes science can separate you from that because science can describe something so precise that it kind of kills it it kills the emotional aspect of it and we cannot deny that that is part of the art the art is emotional is uh, spiritual art will never be done by a computer because you have to be born with nature and develop with time to express feelings that are real but that science cannot detect so I'm pretty much using the Sorn palette for the face so I'm using the yellow ochre with the white vermilion red and the black and this uh, kind of browns are made of this mixture of red and yellow so the other colors that you see here I'm adding to the landscape these pine trees are making beautiful shapes when they catch the light because they're all like zigzaggy they're like electrical shapes I'm trying to feel that stiffness that energy of the tree through my brush and making it so that I represent them with the medium of oil paints but I'm not copying it exactly I'm just giving the sense of the forest
the rocks now. Let's see if I can capture those um, effects of light and volume so I can create that on top of her. Those rocks are having really cool shadows and I'm running out of blue here. So let me get some blue. Cobalt blue. It's a nice color, but it's not that strong. I'm doing it on purpose because I want to use my blues subtle, but also with good amount of paint. That's why I'm selecting cobalt blue. And also because cobalt blue dries pretty fast and that's what I need out here so that tomorrow I can work on it again and come back to the portrait and rework it until I'm uh, satisfied. Another effect that I want to create that is a little kind of dreamlike, it's a little surrealistic because the portrait's light is coming from the left facing her, but the nature's light is coming from the right. I want to create that contrast that doesn't feel like a natural, but at the same time, I'm playing with the value range so that I can mask the lights and darks in my painting so my painting makes sense. The painting, the art, is a spirit that goes that far is as old as humans and artistically this has to play with its own principles you don't have to be copying nature you just have to use it and kind of relate play with it when you create something it comes from nature but doesn't belong to it it kind of adds to it Oh, vale, look what I found. I found these bones. I think it's gonna be adding to my piece. I saw it, I put it there because it's comfortable for me to look at it. The background of the bike is great. So I put that on top to call the attention and see if I can draw it in front, almost like to create like a crown in front of her. feeling the structure and the texture of the bones and the way I'm applying the paint is that I transmit that energy through the brush and try to capture that kind of rotten feeling. There's a lot of textures going on there. It's like a little moist but like dry and spiky and all these little things is what I feel as I'm painting each area. That way you can have variety of brush strokes, variety of color and being honest to what you're feeling about the subject or about the element that you're incorporating. It's a good idea to exploit your energy while you're working and take yourself to that maximum capacity because there's always a place to escape and to recover. Look at these trees, look at the history, look at the time that passes. We have to understand that we're part of the whole, we are creators, but we are also consumers. Let's consume this trail. <laughs> Always close the doors behind you. Things happen and you enjoy them as they happen. That's how I like to even paint. 
when I'm painting, I'm enjoying what's happening on the canvas. And whatever happens, I observe it and play around it and always take it in a positive way to lead it, to uh, guide it towards a better place. The weather got better now, so I'm back. I had to work inside the van, but the sun came out. I want to capture the same time that I worked yesterday. It was about this time. So now I have developed the portrait a little bit further, and that also helps me guide the environment further as well. Now I can count on these final values and play and adjust the background according to those final tones. Let's wrap this video up. I gotta have fun when I do my art. That's why I got my bike and reflect about life when I hike. <laughs>